What is up everybody, Moritz here from Zachtionster once again and today we will be rebuilding that as some people would like to call it million dollar design of IKEA. It's a little grid system they've been using and I think it looks really nice and instead of hiring really expensive developers or a whole design team to get the concept for you together, we're gonna build something exactly like this today. So it's the similar sections and I'm gonna show you how you can put it all together with just one section of our store and that's how we just get right into it. The first thing I did for that whole thing was head it on over to the Shopify app store where I got the section store app. It's a non-subscription app and beside that section there are over 100 fully customizable Shopify components in here and the one I used for this tutorial is the Grid Pro. I'm just gonna click on it like I said already, app itself is completely free, but this section comes with a one-time charge of $9. Instead of paying for a really expensive development and design team, I think it's a pretty good deal. And it's a one-time purchase, so you don't have to pay for it every month. You're going to own it forever. I think pretty good deals at the end. So yeah, let's head back to the main area of the app where we're going to go to My Sections. It's a collection of all the sections you are owning. And we add it to the theme we're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. And then we simply click on customize and there we also picking the dawn light theme and then you can open up the theme editor which i've already done here already it's a little test store of mine all the products here are just fictional so at the end of the day you can customize it to your likings you don't have to build it exactly as i am doing and like i said already the whole thing is customizable so you can example change the yellow to something else but yeah let's start completely from scratch and hide this one real quick and add a new one like i said already it's called grid pro let's chug it in right here there we have it save it all up and there we go i'm gonna drag it all the way to the top as you can see here we're gonna get a little default version of that whole thing so it's already showing you how much space the blocks take up and I'll give you a little introduction to how the blocks are actually working. So right now, if we click on one of those blocks, the th a thing we can see is actually the row and the column. The column is how much width it actually takes up. If I would put it to four, it would take up the whole thing. And right now it's three. If I would do two, it would just take half of it up. So now we're gonna put it to three again. So it takes up all of the space. And now we're actually focusing on the row. So the row is gonna be two right here. So it's going a little bit less high. And what I wanna do on the other one as well, the exact same thing. So I'm going to the row, also gonna put it on two. And now I'm gonna fill all those things with content like I did in the other one. So the first thing I would like to add is that video. So the background type is going to be a video. Here I'm gonna select the video. I've already uploaded it right here. So it's going to be this nice little hiking video right here. And in the next step, we can also customize. We could uh, put a YouTube link as well. And here we can customize the heading. So just going to put a really random text. Hiking adventure starts now. And we can also directly link a product or a certain collection or also a page to it. I'm just gonna put a really random collection to it. So if you wanna showcase one of your products, it's just gonna go here, Let's change that E so it's looking nice. And also the text color is changeable and the background color. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers that one. Now I wanna do the, the right one right here. So as you can see here, I wanna build something like that now. So let's go back here, click on that block. As you can see here, column is one, so it has that width and it's a double row as well as the other one. So the height of it is one, uh, is two. So yeah, here I wanna actually set a background. So no image, you can either do image, background or video. And here I wanna do start, go shopping and also link it to the same collection as we did on that one. And here I wanna have a different background color. I wanna have that classic Ikea yellow. And we also wanna remove the background overlay. So we're gonna get the proper color of it. Let's save it up real quick. And also change the text color of the block. 
make sure you selected that so it can get overridden. Let's save it up. Check it again and see how it looks in full width. And that is looking pretty nice already. We're getting somewhere. And I'm just gonna do the other ones real quick. And here we will put in the other video, which we saw in the beginning of the video. It's gonna be that one. And here we see as well that the columns is four, so it's going over the whole page. And I wanna change the background color to black, like we saw in the example. And of course we wanna change the text as well. Community, we share this together. And the link is just going to be a different product. It's just gonna be really random. But like I said already, you have all the customization options in the world. Let's save it up real quick and continue. With the last two blocks, those are gonna be half half, as you can see right here. Here we're gonna put another video and here we will put a little photo. So let's get into that. So like I said here, we will put a video. That's gonna be the couch. Let's check that one in here. I think that looks pretty good as well. And we don't really need text for that, but let's still do one. Get cozy, your next couch. And all the fonts are looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. It has a little image overlay as well. So I think in that case it looks pretty nice. Maybe we're gonna try how it looks without, if the contrast is enough, and it is. So we're gonna keep it like that. And the last thing I'm going to add is going to be an image of this cotton right here. It's a little blanket. So yeah, there we have it. Last product. 100% cotton blanket. And the product we will pick here will be something like that. And yeah, I think we can pretty much save it all up. And before we actually have a look at it at the live version, I would like to show you how you can customize things on the whole block itself. So if you click on SS Grid Pro, we could add a headline right here. We could also use a custom font, make it big bigger. So this is the Grid Pro IKEA rebuild section which is looking quite nice. The line height is something we can change. We can change the gaps in between the layout. So we could also make it all a little bit closer together. Let's just do that for this example. Also works in mobile, of course. So if I switch to mobile right here, it just goes into that, which is also looking really nice. So it's fully responsive as well. Now I wanna see how much height one row can have. So if you select one, actually, it's gonna have 310 and then it just gets added up. So this one has 600 actually, and the same goes with the columns too. So yeah, here we have the block border radius. We could crank that up as well. So you can see it gets more round like that. And yeah, a bunch of other things we can change, all the height of the lines and the fonts, the arrow size, if we hover over it, we could make that one bigger. And yeah, of course, all the colors are changeable too. We can add some borders. We can change the, the heading color of the whole thing. Change it to that classic IKEA blue. And yeah, the last thing we could do is add some headings and borders. And we can make it full width too. But we don't need to for this example. So I'm going to save it all up. Give the one we did already a little reload. And we're going to have a look at it. So let's view the whole thing and check if we're happy with what we're seeing. So yeah, you can see the little hiking video. It's just gonna loop itself. So small videos can be really nice in here. This is working as well. I like the animations on that one too. And here we have the couch and the cotton blanket. Let's see if the links are working. We linked it to the collectioner that is also working. So that means the links are active. And yeah, I hope you guys found that useful and I hope you liked the video of our one million dollar design rebuild of ikea and if you did always feel free to like and follow and yeah if you have own suggestions about videos feel free to drop them in the comment section as well and with that being said have a good one and peace out